Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Sigmund Corp mini episodes. This is the second one. <laughs> I know I said welcome back because technically it's a whole new thing, but hey, we have a window. Uh, window. <laughs> they're throwing tomatoes at us. So if you didn't see the last one, there's protesters who don't like what they're doing here. They don't like the job they do. I don't know why, but they don't. Well, at least they're starting to leave. I guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We've ought to get that external fruit collector set up. That didn't make sense. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh too. Aha. Uh -huh. Get this, it's like we're inside and the fridge is outside. Mind blunt? Sure, good job. I knew it. <laughs> I wonder if the others are leaving early, now that the road's clear. Eh, uh, might as well. I can't believe the calls pushed over our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With their little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain somebody. Guess again. She got me a present too. Oh! What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through soothing background sounds like the beaches or a chorus of crickets. Check this out. I don't hear nothing. It sounds like something I could do on my phone. Oh yeah? Well this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record and then you can make your own custom ambient sound to work. Again, phone. I guess neither of us are particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. It'll probably record Rob. I'll probably record Rob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, how about you? You got plans? Well... Ooh, come here, you stud. <laughs> what is going on out there? Guys, hide. Oh god, it's the old couple. <laughs> is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm sober as a brick and you're still steamy like a hot bun. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. Oh, she, she smacked his butt. Oh, you naughty little vixen. If not for my back, I'd just pick you up and... <laughs> so this, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> hey. Hey. It's snowing outside. Yeah. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Best game ever, 10 out of 10. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do that. I'm hurt, okay. Well, I guess I'm leaving. Nothing else to do, right? And now I'm new. What you gonna do, buddy? He's calling someone. Hello? Who is this? Say something new. That's creepy. Hello? He just called someone, let them say hello a few times, and then hung up. That's creepy. Come on, Neil. Maybe it's like ex girlfriend, ex wife, I don't know. Must be, otherwise, it's just really creepy. Where does she want to go? Offices, lounge, lobby? I don't know. I'm just, I guess, explore a little bit. Hey, Eva. Hey, Eddie. How's... Oh, no, 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 the door! Oops, my bad. Oh, well, no biggie. Hey, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. 
That's silly, it's just luck. Well, come on, just give it a try. What the? Thanks! That's so weird. <laughs> Alright, let's check out my office. Do I have, like, cool stuffs? Oh, I have a bag. I guess I'm taking that with me. Because I'm going home. I wonder if you need to take this with you. Probably. Maybe she'll be like, I forgot my bag, if you don't. You are right, Roxy? Oh, hi, Eva. Yep, I'm just waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance, so we're carpooling. Hey, Rob! You ready? Just a minute! Anyway, what you up to? Um, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We always have our Christmas dinner together, and they've been waiting. Wow, how nice of them. That turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. You got any plans tonight? Well, I gotta meet up with some folks later. But first I got a date with a good old couch and ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and then I'm gonna spoon it. <laughs> Sounds like a lovely time. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Jeez, Roxy, I said just a minute. Wasn't me! <laughs> I better go check on Dr. Washroom as well. Wait, where did my bag go? I was holding a bag a couple seconds ago. I love it. Shout out to Neil's uh, wall art because it tells me I rock and I just need that little bit of self confidence boost right now. But seriously, though, thanks, Neil. I really appreciate it, bro. You rock too. Dr. Willis McMillan. Oh, they're the two, no. The McMillans are the two old people that I just saw. I don't know what I just saw. And to be honest, we should probably just never speak of it again. Can we just agree now, guys? Just ne we'll never speak of that again. Try to visit Dr. Washroom. No, no one in Dr. Washroom. I just, I just want to erase that from my memory. The things that were said, the things that were seen. Never ever again, please no. Right, get in the lift. We're gonna go to the meeting room is where we just were. Let's go to the lounge. I guess that's where the party was before. Yeah. Is there anyone in here? Oh yeah, there's a couple of people in here. I'm so relieved that we're finally getting a break. It'll be nice to spend some time with the family. Have a good evening, Lisa. You deserve it. Everyone does, especially Willis and Tamer. To be honest, I'm worried about them. Yeah, they do work way too hard for their age. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do theirs when the time comes. I bet we're going to have to do theirs. Man, I know Herman, Herman Corpse got our night covered by contract and all, but I still feel kind of uneasy. They're our competitor, after all. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Yeah, but I guess that's one of the few ways to get some reliable time off in this job. Besides, we'll be doing the same thing for them, so they better do a good job. Alright. Good talking to you guys. I guess I better head down to the lobby and leave. Because Eva's gonna go home. She gotta go see her family. It's Christmas. Eva, about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, lass, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman... <laughs> oh, shush, you. <laughs> I understand. Like, I think I think Eva's old enough that she probably knows. She probably knows that now. No point going there. Is she going to say the same thing over this way? Yeah, maybe next time. All right, let's leave then. Neil, heading off. You're still here? Yep, and I'm staying here tonight. Wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just the kind of hard-working Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Neil? Bob? It's Robert. Rob. <laughs> anyway. 
Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really gonna just stay here on the only break we've gotten in months? Yep. All this mansion to myself? Yes, please. Alright then. Don't go, Eva. Don't leave him. Hey, if you want. Hmm? Uh, never mind. She was gonna invite him, and she didn't do it. Why? Why not invite Neil? You know he's gonna be there on his own. It seems kind of cruel to almost do it and then not do it. What's the worst that can happen? He's not gonna embarrass you. Secretly, you love him, and we all know it. Eva? Hey, sis. I'm heading over now. We all know you love each other. Just please, just get together. It's been a long time since the to the moon stuff and we knew you liked each other then. It's been like a, a year, a year since the last one, since the last mini so. I mean, for you guys, it hasn't been a year right now. It's been like a couple days, <laughs> if, you, if you've never seen them before. But since they were released, it was actually 2013 Christmas holiday, 2014 Christmas holiday. What did you just get out? What was that? Is anyone there in the whole building? Let's call it snow. I'm always amazed by how the artists for this game managed to make it look really good, even though they're using like the basic, basic stuff. And yep, there he is. He's staying there all by himself. But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hun, you should invite him to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else, just for co-workers' sake, you know? I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. Eva? What was that? You okay, hun? Are you there, Eva? Wait, what? What the heck was that? That was not normal. That was me. That was another Eva in the road. And she disappeared. What happened to this game? <laughs> Eva, can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hon, I'll see you then. That was scary. Neil, what if a, what if a like, zombie clone teleporting Neil shows up and tries to kill him? Or the Eva, even, even, <laughs> even Stevens. It's a great show. Come on, thirtieth times the charm. Moment of truth. What are we doing now? We're gonna take all the power out of the building. Circuit abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. What the? <laughs> That's how to swear. How does that even? I'd better get down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. At least the elevator's on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. Okay, dude. What's he doing? Packing his stuff away first, maybe? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, he locked the door as well. I guess he doesn't want anyone to find that. I wonder what he's doing. It's obviously something a little bit suspicious. I have a torch. I don't like this. This has suddenly become like a horror game. Go to... Should we go everywhere? Just to explore while it's dark? It's kind of cool. It's kind of creepy, but... I kind of just want to do it, you know? <laughs> right, the lounge. The lounge is empty, just as you would probably suspect. 
Well, the whole exploring thing isn't quite going out the way it was going to be. But we will make a stop to the meeting room, just in case. The music's kind of creepy as well. I felt like the game is setting me up for like, is this meant to be like a scary mini episode? Mini soda, as it's actually called. Because if it is, it looks like it's on the right track. But they usually really, sh I mean the last one was really short and I think this one's meant to be short as well, so I don't know how much horror they can do in such a short amount of time. <laughs> but the basement seems like a good place to scare me if you want to scare me. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad of a basement, really. For a tech facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. Well, you're doing weird things that you're not really meant to do. Access profile loaded, Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, 7.47. All right, let's get you booted up first. I wonder if that's actual time, because it's around that time you know, in real life right now, so I wonder if that's actually accurate, like it reads it from your computer. Power status, charging for reignition. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shutoff. Fetching operation record. I don't understand. This can't be right. There must be a glitch in the system. Who's there? Oh, Neil. Why is this gotta be a horror game, man? I don't want you to die or something. We have a broom. So we're good, right? We have what? I didn't mean to go up. Was I meant to stay down there? When I'm swinging my thing around? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go up. Oh, oh, snowy footprints. Who? But the door was locked. Oh, Neil. Oh, he's cleaning. Oh. There you are. <laughs> Here in the face with the <laughs> Power restored. <laughs> he just hit her in the face. It's actually her, though. How's the towel, huh? That helps, thanks. He did hear her in the face. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sheesh, it was an accident, right? Your face was an accident. Did you just go around the office swinging a broom all day? Look, I was in beast mode and she just suddenly appeared on my turf. It's not my fault that I was born with such crazily fast reflexes. Why did you guys come over anyway? You're one to ask, staying all alone in the office on your holiday off. Who does that? It was her idea. Darn right it is. I ain't having no partner of my sister sulk by himself on a night like this. I wasn't so. You just shut up and listen. Eva called in some old friends and we're all going to have a nice dinner together. And you're going to enjoy every moment of it. Wow, you kind of remind me of someone I know. Who? <laughs> your mom? There, there, huh? It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo! <laughs> it's not that bad. Well, I mean, I hit her in the face with a brush, but I mean, it can't have been that bad, really, can it? Can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Ava. It's not ours. <laughs> yeah, like, it wasn't that bad. Man, Neil, we've already just got here and you've already got Tracy all worked up. Workplace hazard. Can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you'd do with a map. <laughs> Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. <laughs> That's great. Dude, what's in the box? Uh, we actually don't know. What? Yeah, come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't know whose those are. So they just sit here? Yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Me neither. Oh, this is not their house. This is the lounge. I just realised that. It's the lounge up at the, uh, at the work. 
I like the screen blue. Oh, they all came back? Oh, hiya! I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But as I was happily picking out on the couch, Eva called and asked for a pickup. What? But she's already here. Hello! What the? Are oh, they grown up as well? Hi, Uncle Neil! The last time you two came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy. He's mean. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wow, that kid's growing up to be a lizard. <laughs> they look so grown up. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep, Ava just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? <laughs> oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Well, 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 let's go talk inside. We could be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes, I should go say hi. Yeah, how did she give Eva a lift if Eva's already in there? Like, that's, that's messed up. But the one that's in there is the one I hit in the face. Was that the weird teleporty, disappeary, kind of scary Eva? No, it's the normal Eva, because I'm, I'm about to be able to control her. There we go. Hey, thanks for helping to drive Lily and the kids over. No biggie, as long as you'll hold up your side of the deal. Ha, yeah, I got it. I'm serious, two buckets of ice cream, no cheap house. Yeah, Roxy, I will. Like, we're talking jumbo size here with a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean buckets. As in, I want to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. Yeah, I'll... Where do you shop? <laughs> Feeling all better? I'll live. You know, Eva Hunt, you got to come over more. I rarely see you anymore. Well, winter tends to be our busiest season. Hopefully we'll get more of a break soon. Don't work too hard now. You know, I'm always here if you need me. You guys got any policy about bringing in guests, Eva? Technically, yeah, but as long as it's just hanging out in the lobby or lounge, no one cares. Funny, I work corporate and we've got cams everywhere. This seems way more high profile. Well, yeah, but it's not like we keep people's memories sitting around on discs. That's true. We don't do that. So it's okay. Let's talk to Lily. Thanks for having us over, Eva. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to take these two rascals out. Johnny's house has a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for the kids to camp out at. They do get to play outside nicely, but I keep fearing they'd trip and roll down the cliff. Yeah, that'd be... Suboptimal. <laughs> Sarah, what is that? A beaver? It's Plat Plat. It's not mine, but Ma said I'm its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm, okay, you can have Plat Plat for five minutes. <laughs> He's looking at it like, what the heck is this? Yay, Plat Plat likes you. How can you tell? Because it's not trying to get away, duh! I don't think that's how it works. I don't think it would try to get away because it's a stuck animal, but you know. Whatever, you know. I don't know what the deal with you is, Sarah, but I don't know what the deal with Tommy is either. He will not stop rotating right now, and it's kind of freaking me out. Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like, do you do surgeries and stuff? No? Then you're not a real doctor. Do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither, but Neil says Dre's not a real doctor and he's still got mad respect, so back off. <laughs> Damn, Eva. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. I better go find him. It keeps going blue in this area. I don't know if that's just the lighting in this area or whether something's going on. When you say back down, you mean the lobby? Yeah. Where can I go? Is he outside or this way? Maybe next time. Okay. And there's no arrow here, so I'm guessing I can't be this way either. Alright, I can. Is he in the basement? Do you? You down here, buddy? New. 
Access profile loaded, Dr. Eva Roslin. Fetching operation record. Time, 7.39, emergency manual shutdown by Dr. Neil Watts. Time, 7.47, manual restart by not Dr. Neil Watts. Wait, what? Weird, why did he shut down and then restart it himself? He didn't. No point in messing with the power, he didn't. What? That's why he said it can't be right. So he shut down the power, manually, and then he went down there to see what happened and he restarted it. That's weird. Is he out at the front? I think he is. That's so weird. How did he turn it off and then turn it back on? Well, I, I know he turned it back on because we did that, but... Hello? Who's calling? Who is this? Son? Is that you, Neil? Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No, it's not them. Then why? Why did you come back? I told you already, it was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But just don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I've got things to work on. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had dinner with other people? My sister brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid game based on that case. What are you going to do when you go home? Go eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not going to just stand out here in the cold, tossing words at you. You do what you want, I'm heading inside. Just know there's a chair upstairs for you, whether you're coming or not. Go on, buddy, go back in. I don't know what's going on with you, but I think you should go back in. You know? Wait, did the doors open by themselves? That's it. Wow. Oh, he did go back in. Oh, good. Well, guys, that's another mini so done. Um, these were really nice. Like, they were just little reminders of the characters and, you know, like you're checking in over there, over the time, just to see how they're doing and things are developing with them because they have their own story outside of the the stories that are the cases. So it's really interesting to see how things develop with them. And I guess, yeah, oh look, he's like playing with them. He like took the platypus and he's running away with it. And Eva's like, oh Jesus Christ, I should have let him go home. <laughs> it's really nice though, so he did go back in and he did enjoy, he did enjoy the party with them because they, they didn't make the effort to go there for him. He's got his own issues though, Neil. I feel like he's kind of the main character. I don't want to say that because Eva's got her own story as well. And obviously together, I think they're going to end up together or whatever, but... Oh, it's recording! Is that a good thing? Or not? Was it recording... Why was it recording? Hmm... That's interesting. I don't know why they, they purposefully showed us that, so I don't know. A message. Jordan, a friend of mine who's created many of Freebird's pixel art from To The Moon, Lighthouse, Anya, to Neil and Eva's co-workers in this minisode, is currently hospitalized and undergoing chemotherapy. If you've enjoyed his work, please consider sending a donation to his family to help. His mum's PayPal address is laurab23 at gmail.com. You can also send him supportive words to jordan at freebirdgames.com. Thank you. Well, guys, if you do want to donate something to help or you do want to just uh, send a message of support please feel free to do that I'll leave that on screen for you for you to, for you to copy it down or yeah so uh, wow that's that's really sad because I just said to you earlier didn't, well I can't remember if it was in this episode or the last one because I've recorded them back to back but I, I just said about how the game is beautiful even though it's so simplistic it's really brilliant the artwork so and this guy's done it obviously Jordan so yeah 
Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. There's more. <laughs> Don't leave. Hopefully you didn't leave. <laughs> well? Well what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everybody had a good time. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs to... What? Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, hun. Let's get you home. This game's creeping me out now. Like, To the Moon was never scary, and the last minisode wasn't scary, but this one is freaking me out. So, maybe it's both of them revisiting. Because Eva's like double flashes, it's like her revisiting. She had the helmet on, didn't she? And it was Neil's helmet as well. Okay, well that's throwing up a lot of questions, but anyway, as I said already, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I will see you in the next video, okay? Goodbye, I'm not going to punch this this time, I swear.